welcome back friends so we will take up the 22 films science and technology so it is like compared to last year we did the last year of science and tech there it was like so many questions were ambiguous so here this year it was not so so science and tech and environment part so it was bit easier and even the questions were more so we see here more than uh, 28 to 29 questions they are from here the science and tech and environment so we begin with the science tech we will see how the guesswork will go so within the examination environment given a normal preparation so how we will try to create a guesswork of that and after that we will go with the knowledge so both the knowledge and the guesswork that is the luck plus hard work so both of them should go for any success to happen so we will begin how the questions are being asked okay so it is the which of the following are built on top of the open source digital platform so here is we have heard about the github so github github was one platform where so like it was controversial and the uniqueness of that was it was open source so anyone could have shared their ports into that and see like that was one good technology it had and say what is an open source digital platform so anyone can share them and whichever is very good whichever source code whichever is a uh, foolproof so that will be implemented so competition will be set in within and in that perspective if you think so government it has to bring up more and more open source codes it has to open up the platform for open sources so that competition will set in and the transparency accountability then the stakeholdership that is even the public can build and set a platform a government platform so that participative governance so that will increase so if you look into that perspective like most of the digital platforms so they have to be open source coded so here if we look into that perspective so we can hit all of the above because all are the government platforms and if we go with the knowledge so it is like see here we have in the PIB there is one information RRG C2 is now open source and the India offers open source code for COVID and here it is like the DigiLocker is open source so by seeing the trends or if you keep a track of current affairs we will get to know like government is slowly going for the open source code platforms so in the back end of knowledge you can take the guesswork okay not so difficult question then the web 3.0 so this web 2.0 web 3.0 these were also in current affairs so many classes we have discussed yes in the current affairs we have read so it is like uh, one thing is like this year the current affairs question were more and if you had kept a good track of current affairs so the paper would have been moved towards easy level so from difficult you would have moved towards easy okay so here we can see the web 3.0 so the web 3.0 technology enables people to control their own data then in web 3.0 world there can be blockchain based social networks web 3.0 is operated by users collectively rather than a corporation so all these are the enabling causes or we can say all these are progressive in nature so a technology should give more and more facilities for the people and here it is giving so Totally speaking, there is nothing extremity here, and we know that what is Web 1.0. Web 1.0 is basically informative, so there will be some information thrown into that website. Anyone can log in and he can access to that. So Web 2.0 is something where the people can interact, so people can share their data, or people can make sure that they can give feedbacks. So, say for example, behind every website or below every website, there will be comment section that became web 2.0 and 3.0 means it is the customized data supply so i go to amazon website so amazon will show me whatever i am interested in so it will be keeping a track of whatever i am searched or whatever i have been searching from the last two to three months and it will show me those which i preferred in the, the previous days so that is how the customized supply will happen so if you think in that perspective so what are new technologies are there so all those things will be embedded in the web 3.0 so again we can hit all of the above so all these are progressive clauses okay so again not so difficult a question then come to next 
the saas software as a service so this is a part of cloud computing and here it is like just analyze like the software it is being provided as a service and here the outlook hotmail yahoo so all these are the softwares so yes it is a software you will be having one app and if you click on that you will enter into you can store some data you can communicate with someone else and others so mainly an app which is used for the data management and communication so that is what and try applying the same to the above two statements that is the saas buyers can customize the user interface and can change the data fields so here the data means something like yes it is the saas because here hotmail and all will store data so so many mails will be stored so that is one hint which you will get here and customization yes we can always so in our uh, emails in our hotmail etc we can customize the things so we can see only those mails which we prefer or we can make sure that the data will be picked up from one platform and put into other platforms so from uh, yahoo to hotmail we can shift the data so anything can be possible then saas users can access the data through their mobile devices so even through mobile we can access to all these so just by seeing by identifying that these are some softwares and after those softwares are being applied to these options so we will get an answer so again it is uh, no extremities are there here and but obvious if you think from the examiner's perspective we will get the answer okay so again not a difficult question and by seeing all these so somewhere upsc is going back to that all of the above kind of trend so in the 2020 2021 prelims so not all questions of science and tech they had all of the above as an option but here it is like the wordings are showing like most of them are having all of the above as options then we will see so here the saas is being there and various clauses or advantages of saas is being provided any of friends knowledge will always be there okay so if you have a google in front of you so there is uh, no reason why you will score below 170 180 in prelims the thing is that inside the exam hall of you will think inside the exam hall what to do so that is what my concern is so as a student if you sit and think so then but obvious it will be helpful for you it gain it gets immense confidence for ourselves to make sure that we will attempt good number of questions boldly that boldness is what is required then so which of the following statements will reflect fractional orbital bombardment system so it is like just go through the statement it is fractional orbit okay so like some fraction of an orbit is being taken into consideration and orbit is something where the satellites and others will revolve so here again this was not hotly debated in current affairs but this was asked in the wake of russia ukraine war and russia had uh, used this technology long back this is not the recent ones the technology was not being used in the recent times it was present uh, much before and here if you see the options like hypersonic missile is launched into space to counter the asteroid approaching the earth and explode it in space so here it is like some thing related to orbit is being spoken about the space and others so we will keep it we won't eliminate then a spacecraft lands on another planet after making several orbital motions so here it is like that bombardment is not reflected so here at least we can imagine that the asteroid is being bombarded that is not being reflected here so we can eliminate this a missile is put into a stable orbit around the earth and de orbits over a target on the earth so here the orbit is present and missile is being given that is bombardment is also there then a spacecraft moves along a comet with the same speed and places the probe on its surface so again placing a probe on the surface is never bombarding bombarding is blasting so this is eliminated and in that perspective these two become the competitors and here it is like that bombardment as well as orbit is present here and the countering of an orbit is not bombarding so it is like the countering is not blasting of an orbit so most probably this will be an uh, formidable option so we can take yes and coming to the concept so this forms so this uses a low earth orbit 
and it will be uh, revolving around the earth like an orbit and once the command is given so suddenly it will divert from that and it will hit so say for example russia can say that so uh, this is not a missile this is a satellite i have put it for the revolution and but suddenly if it demands so it can give a command so that it will hit on usa so unexpected hit is possible if we have this but if we have the intercontinental ballistic missiles so ballistic missiles will be having a particular range and once the missile is launched we can detect that it can fall on the particular target but these forms we cannot detect where it falls because it will be steadily revolving around in one particular orbit okay so again not so difficult a question then which one of the following is the context in which the term qubit so qubit is nothing but quantum bits it is a child's play so 0.5 seconds work then consider the following communication technologies so closed circuit television cctv then radio frequency identification that is the fast tag rfid then wireless lan local area network so just imagine it is like cctv will not measure all and sundry which is present around you so cctv will measure only some particular range after that we can't so if not there are n number of cctv is being uh, installed in all metropolitan cities but still why crimes are being committed then the rfids so rfid will also be recognized only when the vehicles with the fast tag will come nearer to the toll booth so it is not like for, from delhi the if a vehicle is coming from delhi to bengaluru so nothing of such long range will happen then wireless lan so we know that wifi so if you go out of the building for a for long distance so then it is like it will not identify so all our short range devices what obvious again so not a difficult question then come to next so biofilm what is biofilm so crudely you can take like biofilm is a film of some biota so microbes or might be some bacteria viruses anything they will form a film so we will see in that perspective so biofilms can form on medical implants within human tissues so why can't so any fungus can grow any bacteria can grow and then biofilms can form on food and food processing surfaces yes so if you leave a food open always molds they will grow biofilms can exhibit antibiotic resistance so friends this was actually news with respect to antibiotic resistance say for example this biofilm it will form a layer on your wound and as and when you keep on applying antibiotic or keep on applying medicines so these bacteria that are living so they start getting uh, resistant over that so they start uh, rebelling against that medicine and they become resistant and slowly when these biofilms they start dispersing so that antimicrobial resistance will be dispersed into the open environment so why hussein sagar lake of hyderabad is having highest antimicrobial resistance so one is because the pharmaceutical industries so they will be throwing and second might be because of various other reasons so how that environment becomes resistant because these resistant bacteria they get dispersed and this is one of the channels how the dispersion takes place okay so here also it is like there is nothing extremity so we can go ahead with this as the answer biofilms can form on medical implants they can form on food and food preservatives and here also okay so here it is not a medicine it is a medical implant what is a medical implant a stent or might be a steel rod inside the bone so all these are medical implants or might be even your uh, dental fence whichever you put the clip so all these are the medical implants then probiotics so what is a probiotic that is a healthy biota the bacteria that is present inside a human being or any body for that matter and with respect to that we see this question probiotics are made of both bacteria and the yeast we cannot say so upsc will not say that there are no yeast at all inside biota it is but of this the advantage of minusculity advantage of minusculity is with you that means even if you show to the upsc that there is one yeast inside your body 
so then the statement happens to become correct and if the statement happens to become wrong upsc should show you that in any of the human beings you take there are no yeast at all not even single yeast is present that is extreme then the organisms in probiotics are found in foods we ingest but they do not naturally occur in our gut so again this is like an extreme statement so even if one bacteria if it occurs naturally if it replicates inside so the statement goes wrong and we will take it as a wrong statement like there might be naturally occurring biota also then probiotics help in digestion of milk sugars yes so lactose sucrose all this will be digested and here again so when you come to probiotics even if a person is 120 150 kgs so why your gym trainers and others they will uh, force you to eat eggs egg whites so it is because these egg whites when they enter into your body the probiotics the bacteria so they will also grow and when they grow they start eating your fat so it is like you will also burn fat due to your sheer hard work and your bacteria will also burn that so that is why by intake of protein your weight loss will happen it will not be a gain it is more a loss so in that perspective again 1 and 3 so this c will be the most probable answer again an easy question then in the context of vaccines manufactured to prevent covid 19 friends we have already discussed this many times okay and here again it is like uh, one must do concept it was because covid 19 was there and with respect to science and technology every day the mrna vaccine so that was in news and the dna vector vaccine so that was given in the last year prelims also so if we haven't studied this so then our preparation is either incorrect or it is not serious and in that perspective we can see here see like these covishield sputnik these are the first vaccines which arrived in the market but mrna technology that arrived later and so by that we can take a crude guess that covid shield so that was not having the mrna technology so that covid shield using mrna will be the wrong ones and so if we try eliminating one we will always get the answer so 2 and 3 and here it is again friends the covid shield and sputnik they used the vector based platform so like many times we have discussed so it is like the covid shield will use human adenovirus and sputnik will use chimpanzee's adenovirus as the vectors to pass on the spike protein so spike protein will be given into the adenovirus and that will be injected so yes the sputnik is the vector based so it is not a dna vector based it is a vector based the spike protein will be given into chimpanzee adenovirus which is a vector and that will be then covaxin is an inactivated pathogen based vaccine yes friends this is why the covaxin was seen as suspicion yes so we have also discussed and here covaxin yes it is inactive it is attenuated virus and there was always a suspicion that this attenuated virus will become a real virulent virus and that is why most people they failed to take covaxin and there was one incident in odisha so villagers got to know that tomorrow the medical personnel are going to come they are going to uh, give vaccine for everyone and at the very night almost all the villagers they left the village and the village was left empty so like even the government was faulty here when they didn't release the actual clinical trials and some of the actual data of covaxin so that is why covaxin was also in use again not so difficult a question here then come to next so if a major solar storm or solar flare reaches the earth so this solar flare solar wind so again it was a generic concept and it is like when a solar flare or a solar wind comes so what happens it is like these are might be they might be uh, light waves heat waves and along with the light and heat they carry intense electromagnetic radiations and these intense electromagnetic radiations when they enter the earth so they will destroy all our electromagnetic setup so what are our electromagnetic setups our satellites our internet connectivities our telecommunication mobile towers so all these connectivity will be disrupted 
so in that perspective if you see so yes when the solar flare or a solar storm comes the gps navigation system could fail yes then tsunami could occur so this tsunami will not be an option so we see eliminating two if we eliminate two so we already got this answer as a matter of cross check we can see like after two three power grids yes power grids also communicate they are smart enough and power grid can also be susceptible to strong electromagnetic waves so three is an answer then fourth so fourth one intense auroras could occur yes auroras are the effect of the solar winds so when these electromagnetic radiations come the earth's magnetic field so earth magnetic field will defend all of them and that is why and we know that earth's magnetic field that is strongest in the poles and due to this the electromagnetic winds or the solar flares so they will be concentrated here and due to interaction of the magnetic field and the solar winds different plumes of light will be visible and these plumes of light so they call they cause aurora aurora means like beautiful sky so aurora borealis australis so all these you might have studied in any geography or uh, science tech foundation or any notes any study material and then so after that 1 3 5 6 and 7 okay we will erase what is this sir okay so 1 3 4 6 and 7 so 4 is over then why is not there here forest fires forest fires will not happen and then 6 and 7 orbits of satellite yes then short wave radio communications yes again not so difficult a question so hardly takes one uh, some 15 seconds not more than that then so with respect to non fungible tokens again this was in news friend so many any material any current affairs material you read so you will get these so non fungible tokens are those uh means of uh, exchange which are being used for the antique pieces or might be the paintings or those which are having that aesthetic value so like we can sell mona lisa's painting with the help of these non fungible tokens so that is the means of selling those antique and aesthetic uh, materials so here these non fungible tokens they enable the digital representation of physical assets yes so with the non fungible tokens we can estimate what is the actual price of mona lisa's painting it might be some 500 non fungible tokens so if someone is ready to pay me 500 nfts so i can make sure that yes uh, i can give mona lisa's painting then there are unique cryptographic tokens that exist on a blockchain so yes it is like the blockchain is now it is in currency so in anything in any technology blockchain is used so blockchain comes to data management and almost all technology requires data management and yes it can be then they can be traded or exchanged at equivalency and therefore can be used as a medium of commercial transaction as i said in the very first so it is used to transact or it is used as a mean of exchange of the any antique or aesthetic pieces so trade is one of the important part of this so again an easy easy question not so difficult okay so then come to next so which of the following statements best describes the role of b cell and t cells so friends this is given in the ncert so uh, 11th or 12th biology ncert it is being given so here it is like the b cell and t cells are also in use because of our vaccination and immunization so when we give a vaccine so it is like b cells will be activated so it is like these b cells and t cells are also called as helper and killer cells so helper cells it will help the killer cells to kill the pathogens or the germs that are being coming so in that perspective if you look at so allergens are not b cell and t cells so here see allergens so they are related to basophils basophils will trigger when there is an allergy not the b and t cells so we can eliminate then body pain and inflammation so again it is not the killer cells so there is nothing to kill in a pain yes and then immunosuppressant actually it will trigger immunity it will not suppress immunity at any cost 
B cells and T cells, they will trigger immunity, they won't suppress. In that perspective, they protect the body from diseases caused by pathogens. Yes, when the virus attacks or when the bacteria attack, so they will be there to kill those and to protect the body. So, again, a direct question from NCIT. So, it is like rarely such direct questions come. So, mostly UPSC will give application related question. It will allow us to think and think inside the exam hall. So, this was one rare gesture of UPSC then. DNA barcoding can be a tool for which of the following. So, DNA as genetic engineering. So, what are the direct applications of genetic engineering if you decipher? So, you will get the answer. It is like assess the age of plant or an animal. Friends, assessing the age requires carbon dating. So, carbon dating has nothing to do with the DNA. Even if I take out a DNA, so we will be getting to know some of the traits like the hair color, eye color or anything of such matter. But the age is not. Age is present in the telomeres. So, we have that aging concept in that the chromosomes will be having these telomeres. And if these telomeres are being eroded faster, it is like the age can be detected. And these telomeres are different from the DNA which is present here and barcoding of this DNA. So, age will never be found out by the genetic engineering. So, DNA barcoding can't do this one. And distinguish among species that look alike. Say for example, so many species will look alike at the primitive stage. So, almost all frog species will look similar in a tadpole stage. And now if I do the DNA barcoding, I have, now I will get to know this frog is in this species, this tadpole is other species and the third tadpole is the third species. So, again this, so we can, so 2 is correct, then identify undesirable animal or plant materials in processed food. So, it is like yes, it is being used, so any poisonous a plant or animal is being added to the food, so we can pick up and see the DNA, so always we can see the characteristic of a species and we cannot see the age. So, here like 2 and 3 can be the probable answer. Again, a uh, easy question, not so difficult at all. Then, okay. So, these are some of the questions from science tech and we can see like most of them were in the easy part. So, even if our guessing strategies are not that fine tuned, if you are not experts in guessing, even then we can take at least 80 percent of these questions correct. So, I hope that you have done well and that boldness in which you attempt the questions and that smartness in which you take them out with utmost precision is what is required in UPSC and UPSC is never a by heart exam and it has proved again that I never stand to be a by heart exam. So, this is all about science and tech. All the very best. Good luck friends.